Domine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Et vobis fratres, quia peccavi nimis, coditatione, verbo, opere et missione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, idio preco beata Mariam semper virginem, omnes angelus et sanctus, et vos fratres, orare pro me ad dominum Deum nostri. Miseriatum nostri omnipotens Deus, et demisis peccatis nostris, Peducat nos ad vitam etam.
Oremus. Adesto Domine Familis Tuis, et perpetuam benignitatem lagire poscentibus, ut his quite actorem et gubernatorem gloriam tur habere, et creata restaures et restaurata conserves, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, Listen, and your soul will live. With you I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Nothing can come between us and the love of Christ, even if we are troubled or worried, or being persecuted, or lacking food or clothes, or being threatened or even attacked. These are the trials through which we triumph, by the power of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord.
Dominus Vobiscum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Matteo. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this and, leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by. So send the people away so that they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. And then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples, who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps remaining, twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men, to say nothing of women and children. Verbum Domini. Holy Communion will be distributed after Mass. Please follow the instructions of the priest and stewards. Remember that there is no obligation to receive Holy Communion, so if you have any safety concerns, please feel free to make a spiritual communion or leave as soon as Mass is finished. If you are able to stay for a few minutes after Holy Communion to help clean the church, we would be very grateful. Our daily extraordinary form Mass was very popular on the live stream during lockdown, and we have been able to continue it at 10 past 8 every day uh, during July. But from tomorrow, from Monday, the 3rd of August, we will have to return to our usual daily Mass schedule. But we will look for ways to provide more regular Extraordinary Four Masses in the future. We will also be cutting down the number of Masses which we live stream each day. From now on, we will stream all Masses on Sunday morning, the um, 6 o'clock Mass each weekday evening, and the 10 o'clock Mass on Saturday mornings. Vespers will not be sung during August, our usual summer break, um, except for the Feast of the Assumption. Vespers will return in September and will be live streamed. Benediction, Friday Holy Hour, and all our other devotions will come back again as soon as is practically possible. Brother Benedict was due to be ordained priest last month, but that had to be postponed for obvious reasons. We are pleased to announce that Bishop Robert will ordain Brother Benedict on the 12th of September at midday. Space will still be very limited because of the continuing restrictions. So if you would like to attend, pl please send us an email with your name uh, and that will be entered into a lottery for tickets. At the centre of every Mass, we hear an account of the Last Supper. Leading up to the consecration, the priest says, On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying. But if you look at the Gospel accounts of the Last Supper, you won't find those exact words that precise combination of actions we hear described in every Mass comes from today's Gospel. He took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven, and said the blessing, and breaking the loaves, handed them to his disciples who gave them to the crowds. This shows us that the Church has always understood this passage as linked to the Eucharist in some way. This miraculous feeding of the 5,000 helps us to understand the miracle that takes place 
during every Mass. The first aspect of this miracle that strikes us is simply that the food didn't run out. And when we translate that into Eucharistic terms, it points to another miracle, that it too never runs out. I don't mean in a practical sense. If the priest forgets to put enough altar breads out for Mass, the tabernacle doesn't magically restock itself. It is possible to run out of hosts at communion time. But the miracle is that each of us receives the whole of Jesus when we receive Holy Communion, and yet he is still there, whole and entire, for the next person to receive. And he is still fully there when we come back the next day for us to receive again. That miracle points towards the practicalities of how the miracle of Holy Communion is possible, but there is something still more personal revealed in today's Gospel. The feeding of the 5,000 is a response to our Lord's sympathy for the people. As he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them. Again, if we apply that to the Eucharist, we see that this sacrament is instituted because the Lord takes pity on us. Christ cares about the well-being of each individual that makes up the crowd in the Gospels, so he feeds them. And because he takes pity on us, he continues to feed us too, but with something greater than bread. The Lord also sets an example here for his followers. The disciples have a certain amount of sympathy for the crowds. They can see that they need feeding, but they don't see how they can do anything themselves. They do have some food, but they don't see the point in sharing what little they have. Christ shows us that no matter how little we think we have, no matter how few our own resources are, or how untalented we might think that we are, if we are willing to work with him, then he can do great things with whatever we give him, however small. The whole Christian project, the job of evangelizing the rest of the world, of transforming our own lives, of abandoning sin and becoming saints, of feeding the hungry and all the rest in between, it can seem like a lot at times and it's hard to know where to get started really. We might not be sure if we can really make a difference to the rest of the world or if it's even really possible. Christ teaches us not to be overwhelmed by the size of the task at hand. From just a snack, he creates a meal for 5,000. From bread and wine, he gives us his body and blood. As long as we're willing to give him what he asks for, Christ will do great things through each one of us as well.
Propitius Domine, quesimus hec dona sanctifica, et hoste spiritalis oblationis ascepta, nos met ipsos tibi perfice munus eternum, per Christum Dominum nostro. Amen. Dominus vobisco. Et tu Awesome God. Gracias a Camus, Domino de Nostro. Dignum et justum est tecum et salutare, nos tibi sempre tubique, gratia sagere, Domine Sancta Pata, omnipotens eterne Deus, per Christum Dominum nostro, qui humanis miseratus erroribus, Devi gine nasci dignatus est, qui crucem passus a perpetua morte nos libera habit, et a mortuis resurgens vitam nobis dona habit eterna. Et ihi deo, cum angelis et archangelis, Cum tronis et dominatio honibus, cum que omni militia celestis exercitus, hymnum gloriae tue hecanimus, sine fine dicente. Egito clementissime pater, per Iesum Christum filium tuum dominum nostrum supplices rogamus ac petimus, uti accepta abes et benedica sec dona ec munera ec sancta sacrificia elevata in primis, qui tibi offerimus pro ecclesia tua sancta catholica, quam pacificare custodire adonare et regere dinieris toto obe terrarum, una cum famulo tuo Papa nostro Francisco, sentistite nostro Bernardo, et omnibus ortodoxis atque catholice et apostolice fidei cultoribus. Memento Domine famalorum from Lorunque to Warum. Et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides conita est et nota devotio pro quibus tibi offerimus, vel qui tibi offerunt hoc sacrificium laudis pro se suisque omnibus, pro redemptione animarum suarum, 
Prospe salutis in inclimitatis sue, tibicre redent votus hur turne deo vivo etver. Communicantes et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosa semper virginis Mariae, trinitricis de Domini nostri Jesu Christi, sed et beati Iosef iustem virginis sponsi, vetorum apostolorum ac martyrum tuorum, Petrit, Pauli, Andrei, Jacobi, Ioannis, Tome, Jacobi, Filippi, Ptolemei, Matei, Simonis, et Tadei, Lini, Cleti, Clementis, Sixti, Cornelii, Cipriani, Lorenzi, Crisogini, Ioannis, et Pauli, Cosme, Damiani, et Omnium Sanctorum Tuorum. Quorum meritis, preci meritis precipusque concedas, ut in omnibus protectionis tuae muniamo auxilio, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Hanc igito oblationem servitutis nostre, sedit cuncte familiae tuae quesimus domine, ut placatus acipias. Dies per nostus in tua pace disponas, atque ab eterna damnationi nos edipi, et in electorum tuorum iubis gregini mirari, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Quam oblationem tu Deus in omnibus quesimus benedictam, ad scriptam ratam rationabilem acetabilem quae facere dineris, ut nobis corpus et sanguis fiat, delectissimi fili tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi. Qui, pridie quam patureto, accepit panem in sanctus ac venerabiles manus suas, its elevatus oculis in celum, at te deum patrum sum omnipotentem, tibi gratis argens benedixit, fregit, dedique discipulis suis dicens, ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum quod provobis tradetum. Similimodo modo postquam trinatum est, ac cipiens et hunque calum calicem in sanctus ac venerabiles manus suas, Isim tibi gratis agens benedixit, didicque discipuli suis dicens, ac cipite et bibite ex eo omnes. Hic est enim calic sanguinis mei novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobis et promultis effundetur in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in mem commemoratio. Mystery home feed a he. And at memories domine no servi tui sed et plebs tua sancta, eustum Christi fili tui domini nostri tam beati passionis, nec non et binfres resurrectionis, sed et in celos glorios essentionis, offerimus preclari maestati tui de tuis donis actatis, hostiam puram, hostiam sanctam, hostiam immaculata, panem sanctum vitae eterni et collegium salutis perpetuae. Supraque propitza ex serena vulteris picere dineris, et a chapter haberi sicutia chapter haberi dignatus es, munera puri tu iusti abu, et sacrificium patriarche nostri abrahe, et quod tibi optulit sumus recedus tuus Melchizedek, sanctum sacrificium immaculatum hostium. Subrices te rogamus omnipotens Deus, iubi hec perferi per manus sancti angeli tui in sublime altare tuum, in conspecta divine maestatis tui, Ut quod quod ex ac altaris participationis sacrosantum fili tui, corpus et sanguinum sum serimus, omni benedictione celestia et gratia repliam, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Memento et sem Domine famalorum famalorumque tuarum, qui nos fecesarum cum senior fide et Domium sum somno pati. Ipsis Domine, et omnibus in Christa quiescentibus, locum refrigeri, lucis et pacis et indulgias deprecamo, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Nobis corco peccatoribus familis tuis, de multitudinem miserationem tuarum sperantibus, 
Patimali comet sujetatum donari dineris, cum tui sanctis apostolis et matiribus, cum Ioane, Stefano, Mattia, Barnaba, Ignazio, Alexandra, Marcellino, Petro, Felicitate perpetua agta lucia nedi Cecilia Anastasia et omnibus sanctis tuis. Intra quorum nos consortium non estimatum meriti sed venie quesimus logito admite, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem hec omnia Domine, semper bona creas sanctificas vivivicas benedicis et prestas nudi. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est tibi Deo Pauci Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Retreptis salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, ademus dicere. Ademus Quasimus Domine ab omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut hope misericordiae tui ad uti, et apacatus simus semper liberi, et ab omnipetivatione securi, expectantes beatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. Domine Jesu Christe, quid existe apostolis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem meum do vobis, ner hispicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, eam quis secundum voluntatum tuam pacificare, et quadunare din heris, qui vivis et reinas in saecula saeculorum.
Oremus. Quos celeste re cres munere perpetua domine comitare presidio, et quos fovere non des in his, dignus fieri sempiterne redemptione concede, pe Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. Oh.